Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to present to you a review of a very interesting scientific book that plays spirituality in the center of healing processes. This book is called The Power of Faith and it is written by Lynn McTaggart. Lynn McTaggart is a bestseller author. She is best known for her work in the field of human consciousness, the new physics and the practices of conventional and alternative medicine. Her books such as The Field and The Intention Experiment are bestsellers. The Power of Faith came out in September 2017 and I'm just excited to share it with you guys in this video, so keep watching! In 2008, Lynn McTaggart decided to run an experiment of placing small groups of 8 people in a workshop. The goal was to see what would happen if group members tried to heal one of their group through their collective thoughts. Before jumping in questions about the process of healing in the group of eight, it is important to mention the origin of intention studies. In fact, it has been done some researches that suggest that the primary system of communication in the body is not chemical reaction, but quantum frequency and subatomic energetic charge. The scientist that carried out these studies following the human consciousness is able to access information beyond the conventional bounds of space and time. In countless experiments, they've shown that our thoughts might be trespassers, capable of both traversing other people and things, and even actually influencing them. In other words, consciousness is non-local, it is beyond space and time. Lynn McTaggart and her team divided a hundred of volunteers members of the experiment into a small group of about eight, making sure that most were complete strangers. One of each group was asked to be the object of the group's intention, this one member should have some sort of physical or emotional condition. After the gathering, the chosen member of the intention would explain their condition to the group, after which the group would form a circle, hold hands, and send healing thoughts in unison to that group member, holding the intention for 10 minutes, the length of time that Lynn and her team would use in their large experiments, largely because it seemed to the maximum time that entrained people could hold the focused thought. The author explains that this technique begins with a little breathing exercise, then visualization, and an exercise in compassion to help people get in a focused, energized, and heartfelt state. Lynn also shows the groups how to construct a highly specific intention, since it is proven that being specific work best in laboratory studies. The first experimentations of the intention studies were in seeds. Lynn claims that a group of people in Sydney, Australia, were asked to send healing intention through the power of one focus group to seeds sitting at the University of Arizona labs in Tucson, 8,000 miles away from Sydney. The days they sent intention, all the plants in the intention studies grew higher than had all the plants in control experiments. With the plants sent intention the highest of all, as though there were some sort of communication between all the seeds in the intention studies. Lynn concluded that group intention can have selective effects on increasing the growth of seeds, which lead to another result, which is the ability of the human mind to operate non-locally, the ability to move beyond space and time. How is that possible? Researches made on meditation suggest that during transcendental states like deep meditation, the brain becomes more coherent and the executive part of the brain becomes more adept at decision making. The focused thought in the intention group is a form of meditation which can succeed as sending healing vibration to the target. What is quite amazing in this experience is that the group senders of the intention can be held as well, and this is what Lynn calls the mirror effect. If they prayed for peace, their lives became more peaceful. If they tried to heal someone else, they experienced a healing in their own lives. Evelyn Underhill, in her classic book Mysticism, explains that I, me, mine makes of a man as an isolated thing. Individuality creates limitations, which makes reality an illusion. Our nature state is being together and living in solidarity. Research from Sander University in California of senior residents show that those who were involved in volunteer work, particularly in religious groups, had mortality rates nearly two-thirds lower than those who weren't. A situation noted the researchers only partly explained by health, habits, physical functioning, religious attendance and social support. During altruist activities and experiences, the body releases endorphins, those feel-good brain chemicals that counter all the biological effects of stress. In the second part of the book, the author gives some instructions of how to create your own power of fate. 
First of all, Lynn suggests that your group be no fewer than 6 and no more than 12 so that you have enough of a critical mass to feel like a group. Number one step is to ask if any of the members of the group would like to be the target of the healing intention. Your job is to allow the chosen person to describe their problem in detail. Number two, spend a few moments talking over and designing the intention statement that you will all hold together. Number three, gather around in circle, either join hands or place a nominated subject in the middle of the circle. Number four, begin by having each member of the group close their eyes and concentrate on inhaling and exhaling. The goal is to clear their mind from any distractions, then hold the intention statement in their mind why imagining with all five senses the intention recipient as healthy and well in every way. Number five, after 10 minutes, gently end the healing intention and have everyone take a few moments to come back into the room. Number six, with time begin to select targets outside your group. And finally, number seven, keep careful note of any monthly progress in your life, your health, your relationships, your career, your life's purpose, because this is how we can measure the power of the group intention on the target on our own lives. You can find in the book more details about creating your own power of eight circle and also how to organize an eight virtually because it works just like the direct physical contact. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions for my next videos, write it in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like this video. See you soon.